<laughs> Welcome to Pity Vote Church. Utah Pity Vote and I, we've been working together to get out to some of the remote locations throughout Utah that we want to bring that enjoyment of the great outdoors, the experience of having a personal living God who deals with you intimately and personally like Jesus does, but also get you outside of technology away from the hustle and bustle of the city life to enjoy the fellowship of the Spirit of God as he hovered over the waters at creation, as all of the angels in heaven rejoiced at the day when God created light. I just can't tell you how wonderful it was to go to Lake Powell and have some adventures down there that were challenging in some ways and struggling in another way and yet at the same time we had one oh i don't know maybe four hours of on lake powell itself where we just paddled we prayed we climbed and scurried around rocks we experienced just the beauty of silence the wonder of the waves and just kind of like the joy of being out there with god I can't tell you what it's like to walk away from ministry for a while and yet still be in the ministry. I can't tell you what it's like to suddenly discover that all your dreams have come true. Or like to take this porch that has been wonderful for us and then suddenly to make it into an explosion of beauty, a uh, dynamic of growth and peace and enjoyment. To have it as a calm, quiet place to get away from it all and to sit and relax. So we've been working behind the scenes, and I wanted to record this for you so you know we're not, we're not neglecting the ministry in any way, shape, or form. And we haven't turned our back on Jesus at any point in time, and Medieval Church is still recording and is still Utah's only all-outdoor church. But... It will take us time to process all the information that we've been recording, like in different venues. Like my wife has a, a Fire HD, which is kind of harder to get than a Kindle off of it to do what we want to do with it. And then the formats that we're going to do to <laughs> have Utah Video out there so that you can not just experience the love of God, but to experience the intimacy of what God does in each one of our hearts and the miraculous things that happen along the way. You know, the end of the world is coming. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The world is falling apart and going its way and basically flushing itself down the toilet. But that doesn't mean you have to live like that. As a matter of fact, you could rejoice that, hey, yeah, things are getting worse and I'm not going to get involved in politics. I'm not going to be involved in distractions. I'm not going to go fight a cause that, well, since because God is going to come so soon, that cause really doesn't matter much, does it? Because it's going to end. What I am going to do is to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, you could rejoice. You see, it's not a matter of trying to make yourself perfect. And it's not a matter of trying to save the world from its destruction soon to come. And it's not even a matter of watching for red moonies, you know, and barking at the moon or hollering at, you know, some sinner or, you know, trying to beat down some saint. More it's about enjoying the reality of a relationship with a God who wants to be as personal to you, as speaking direct to you, as he was with Abraham. Now, I don't know if you're ready for that. No, it's a kind of, you know, you know, Jews take it for granted that God spoke, but, you know, to somebody, not to each person individually. And so, I don't know if you're really wanting to have God speak to you personally, because I know what he's done with me individually, and what a ride. <laughs> so all I can tell you is just, Hang in there. Vidivo and Utah Vidivo is coming. This summer will be our filming summers, and we'll try to get, you know, as much material produced and productions done. But until then, 
You're just going to have to enjoy and trust in the Lord with all your heart. To lean on your in all understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path.